Hey guys, what's going on? It's Greggles here from the Greggles TV on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a walkthrough of Windows 10. It was just released today. And uh, as you can see, it looks a lot like every other version of Windows, maybe a little cooler, more hip, definitely a slicker, cleaner look. Uh, you still have your home button down here. You have this new cool search box right here. Instead of it being under, you usually have to hit start and then see it, but you always have this constant search right here. You have your icons down here that you've saved or that you have running. So we'll start off over in the uh, bottom right here. You got your clock, and your time, and your date, and your calendar. So if you click that, it looks like the calendar looks a lot cooler. It's not that bland looking, you know, white one with not very big or anything like that. You can go to your date and time settings, change that if you need to. Your next one is, this is new, uh, you got notifications, which is very reminiscent of having notifications on a phone. So I like this, I think it's uh, pretty cool. So right now I have Windows feedback, how satisfied you were the experience. So it brings this up, how satisfied you experience Windows 10, I'm going to say very satisfied. Submit, and there you go. That's it. And then my other notification is finish installing device software. So it's just the... Logitech thing, I don't need that. Then you have your um, Wi Fi around your neighborhood, your volume controller, which, if you go back into here and like do recording devices, you can see it looks a lot, a lot like the Windows 7 and Windows 8 uh, versions. And then you still have your other devices and apps that you have running in the background right here by clicking the little arrow. Um, next, let's go to the start menu. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you guys. If you go over to here, back to the notifications, you have this stuff right here where you can do notes, connect, quiet hours, VPN, location. They have a tablet mode. So if you click the tablet mode, it kind of gives that little Windows 8 kind of feel and look to everything, um, which I don't really care for because this isn't a tablet. It's a regular desktop, so I'll switch that back. Anyways, let's go down to the start menu down here. So if you hit start, now you have, instead of all programs, you have all apps. You can hit power and sleep, shut down, restart. You have settings, file explorer, and then you have a bunch of other stuff in here. Your most used apps, which I don't know why they have people there because I never look at people. But let's click on all apps first. So it's reminiscent of the old, you know, Windows 7 and before start menu, except it's a little more modern, a little easier to navigate because they show you a letter here, G, any value, your G apps. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Um, then you also have settings. Settings is control panel, and this is totally different. Um, if you look at it, it's, if you go into, for, this, this would be Windows updates right here. So if you go to update and security, Check for updates. This is going to automatically uh, do your updates. I don't even think you can turn that off. Yeah. I've heard you get to uh, just deal with that, which is fine. I'm fine with that. Windows Defender, backup. So this is cool. It's, it, this is a easy to navigate version of Windows. It looks great. Uh, so let's get out of this. Go back to the start menu. You got your file, file explorer, which is the same as it was before, except just again a little more modern, a little more clean looking. It's just like, everything just looks really great on here, I think. Um, what else we got in here? Oh, they have their new browser, Microsoft Edge, which is they got rid of Microsoft Internet Explorer, and now this is their like their sleek new uh, browser. Uh, you have the start. But if you close that, whoops, close the whole thing. If you open up a tab, and you can type in a web address. So let's just go to USA Today. So I thought it was pretty fast. I loaded up Yahoo and like super quick. You know, that wasn't that quick, but it seems, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you click, see, it hides the, that's the thing, it, it hides the start where you type in an address, they really want you to get into search. But if you click right here, it brings up that. We'll type in Amazon. It does kind of what uh, Prime, I mean, uh, Google Chrome does where it just start, where as you start typing, it brings up the address. So I, I mean, it's pretty fast. I'm, I'm definitely not 
displeased with this browser. It's and it's clean, unlike Internet Explorer. They really refined everything. It just looks really damn good. Close all. Uh, other than that, I mean, everything's just they have the old kind of <clears throat> tablet type menu right here. If you like that view as well. Oh, the other cool thing is they have um, Xbox. So now you can uh, stream your games. If you have an Xbox, you can stream your games to your PC, your Windows PC. You don't even need to have a super powerful PC. All you do is click this right here. It connects to your Xbox One. So it's right here, you can see. I'll just click streaming real quick. It's probably gonna give me an error that I don't have mine set up. So I'll hit PC isn't connected to an Xbox controller, attach one and drag out say continue. My TV's right next to my thing, so as you can see you can seriously just play games right on your on your uh, PC from your Xbox. It's super cool. This is one of the best reasons to get uh, Windows 10 and an Xbox if you don't already have one. Uh, let me load up a game really quick here. I'll load up The Witcher and see how this plays. I haven't even played a game yet. I just uh, got this thing rocking and rolling. Other than that, I mean, it's a free update. If you have Windows 7 and Windows 8, it's a free update. You really can't go wrong. It's just, it's seriously the best of both worlds with Windows 7 and Windows 8 mixed together. And it's fast. Contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war ravaged land. His mission to gather intelligence about Ciri. Yet Geralt arrived too late. The wild hunt had reached Hendrik first. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but the wraiths had failed to find his notes. Geralt read them and knew that Ciri had been a guest of the Bloody Baron, a local warlord, and that she'd quarreled with the witch. Let's do this. This is going to be a great feature. If you have a laptop just lying around, play your Xbox. Whoops. Cancel. Stop listening. <laughs> I can't say that word, obviously, because it picks it up on here as well, which is, this is freaking funny. <clears throat> And the other thing that sucks about this game is the load times. So, I am streaming this to my computer from my Xbox. It, I don't think it looks as good as it does when you're playing on the Xbox, but this is totally playable. Alright, I can't upset the guards. Oh! So as you can see, this is The Witcher playing on the Xbox. When you're done playing, all you have to do is stop streaming. I'll just say it was Thanks. Close that out. Otherwise, that's basically Windows 10 in a nutshell. Uh, if you guys like what you saw, if you want to see more Windows 10, just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys down the road.